Welcome back to another episode of Blast and Masturbate. I'm your host, Father Frank. Today we're going to be objectively resolving literature, nuisances, and the short bus. Let's go meet up, Hannah. John, how you doing, my man? What's going on? Travis, how you doing, brother? Niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight, our special guest is Detroit comedian. Catch him on Funny AF on Revolt TV, Mike Eshek. How you doing, my man? Hey, hey, hey. What up? Go. All right, let's get it going here, boys. So, I mean, everyone at one point or another has probably read a book, seen a book, know what a book looks like, at the very least, but people are avid readers. So where do you draw the line, though? Like, if you choose books over audiobooks, do you hate trees? And, John, start this one off. Yes. Frank, yes. <laughs> Look. Okay. Listen. Pay attention. If you read all these books, you should be smart enough to know that books consume trees. Where are trees coming from? Nature. You're killing nature with all these books you're reading, all right? Cut it out. It's 20 fucking 20. You know what I'm saying? The book's available right on your phone. You can have all the books in the world right on, right on your phone, right on one of these, you know? And it said, you want to carry around backpacks and you want to go to the library. You used to probably have a public library card. Like, come on, bro. That day is dead and gone. Get on the audiobook wave. Save the planet and get with the program. You feel me? No, you sound like a like a like a moron. Like I feel like there's plenty of other things going on. There's you got forest fires going on and stuff like that. People just want to read, and I feel like people who are reading audiobooks, they're not even like reading reading. They're just you can't read audiobooks. It's like a podcast. It's you like just pod- made our point for us. You said we're have forest fires. That's more reason not read books. So no, I mean I feel like books, that's man. the bigger that's the bigger have bigger the thing in this. To you. No, I'm not. No, that's the. You're not really getting the whole thing if you don't see the word on the page. It just, exactly, do, it doesn't count as even reading a book if you're doing an audio book. So like, exactly. So if you're saying that you don't care about trees and nature, for if you don't read audio books, I feel like, I feel like these are two separate things. Like, there's a whole bunch of other shit going on with Earth. Like, let us let us fuck up the Earth a little tiny bit. But like, you you, you if you have cash. You go to the casino or anything like that. Like, but cash is fuck- made out of cotton, though. It's not made out of wood. It's made out yeah. of that paper, nigga. That paper. It's that not paper. paper. It's not actually paper. It's synthetic paper. But back to the problem at <laughs> debatable. hand. Debatable. That's debatable. That's debatable. That, back to you. Back to you, motherfucking Harry Potter novelists out there reading these thousand bo- thousand page books and encyclopedias. Like, stop printing encyclopedias. Stop printing atlases. The world isn't fucking changing. All right. We There's have still- atlas. 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 Yeah, we have Google Maps. We can see all these things. We don't. We no longer need cartographers. We need none of that, bro. Stop, stop, stop the presses. Just, just let it go. Yeah, online. we need to stop putting Literally. it on paper. If anything, so we John, should be etching shit in stone. <laughs> okay, John, John. Let me ask you a question. So, if you're suggesting that people who read regular paperback books hate trees, give me like, uh, a, like what someone would do who loves trees. What, what kind of stuff do they do? They use audiobooks, Frank. Obviously. <laughs> Come on, dude. Like, they're using audiobooks. They're no more, definitely... no less. That's it. Exactly. Or, and or, like, they listen to podcasts. Like, they get their knowledge elsewhere. Besides, like, all reliable, credible people are obviously celebrities. So they go they go on their YouTubes. They're world stars. They get their information and from Instagram. And, you know, books are irrelevant. Nobody picks up fucking books. I mean, what are you, a nerd? What about textbooks? How do they do school? So do they audio textbooks? Everybody no. has an iPad and a Chromebook or our iPad. Like, school is way different no. than, from we, than from we were in school. Like, you don't have to buy book covers. How do you know that? You don't have any kids. Shit like that. I, got I mean, he is right. We are getting to a point where let's just should just be everyone should just have Kindles. They even have these Kindles where the screen doesn't even look like an iPad screen. It actually looks like a piece of paper. And it like it affects your eyes like a piece of paper where yeah. it doesn't strain your eyes and stuff. So we're at that point where like, you know, people are telling everybody to make sacrifices everywhere. We need to tell nerds like my girlfriend, stop it with the books. <laughs> have the fucking phone just read to you. I don't have enough space in my tiny fucking one bedroom apartment for your fucking books, girl. And but she yeah. doesn't listen. They so, just want to buy shit, bookshelves and shit. Who wants to buy a bookshelf? Like nobody even has books in the bookshelf. They have like pops, pop, pop figurines. More, yeah, but more, you have more you have board space. games. Who wants to buy, wants to buy more gig space? Nobody wants to buy more gig space either. It's the same I thing. I feel like people just want to shun people for stuff. Like it's, I feel like trees are not people, so we can do it as we wish with them. It's just like dogs. Books. Dogs, we have dogs, so it's like, don't eat them, but we eat cows. But it's like trees, 
don't fucking write on them. I feel like there's books a difference. Are no more, writing books are no writing more on than pen to paper is different fire. than writing in the in the book. Every, every rapper that wrote pen to paper was ten times better than rappers that just went in the booth. Like, Debatable. Right, yeah. And modern, I mean, books are nothing more than like modern day logs for fire. Like you might as well just take them on a camping trip for survival with a couple of matches, and you'll be all right out there in the like, wilderness for a few you, days. Yeah. I mean, like writing on paper, you could write on your phone on a notepad. Exactly. I can, I can call Siri and have that bitch transcribe this whole fucking podcast. Exactly. Why do I need to write anything and down? Like it's like it's like when you were in second grade when they told you, oh, you're only gonna have to write in cursive for the rest of your life. Everybody's only gonna be able to read cursive as an adult. Who the fuck? They don't even teach cursive anymore. It's just another one of those myths, like. Books yeah, really but you, ain't doing nothing you do that, then, then Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs has all your ideas in their head, and you write them on your phone, and then it's like, all right, now I'm going to sell you some some blah, 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 because you wrote that. If you wrote it on paper, it's just you and, and the ethos. So No, I'm, but I'm, like all the all the greatest documents on earth have been transcribed digitally or photographed. Tell that to Mahatma Gandhi. Or tell that to like, Mahatma Gandhi. Like, Everybody has a digital copy of everything. So if the original copy goes, everybody's going to be like, oh, no, some paper just burned. Tell that to Barack Obama. But then he's going to go online and read it. Paper ain't ain't always going to be here. Apparently, there is a mythical book that Shakespeare wrote, which is a guidebook on the the, the formula of comedy that has been lost forever in a fire and will never find it again. If those idiots would have just done what the Egyptians do and draw shit on fucking stones... (laughs) Then we would still have it, but no, they did it on paper. Paper's fucking useless. Yeah, or if they just would have uploaded it to the cloud, maybe we know how the pyramids were built. I mean, okay, Mormons, Mormons went stone. uh, Christians went Bible, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Like Mormons. Look what happened to Christianity. Look, 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 look. Look. I mean, it it made America. They're paying (laughs) pants now. They're paying babies (laughs) in the churches. Just getting away with it. They're getting away with it. (laughs) This is getting away from the conversation here. No, it is. It's paper's fault. Paper. (laughs) Paper. It's because it's written in paper. They can edit it easily and be like, okay, no, we're just going to change this thing and be like, uh, babies are cute. Uh, but like if you did it in stone it would be like oh we got to edit this now no it would take too much work so but you can just you can just stone, man you can just bury the stone it's like it's the same thing like with with coin money versus paper money they're like uh coins are whatever the same thing is like stone but then it's like oh now we have a coin shortage there was the same amount of short coins the whole time and i was like oh they're okay gone. apparently you don't understand the economy that's not what fiat <laughs> i don't about. i don't but that's still, not what fiat currency that, you, is about sorry no you're trying to do the what's that fallacy the uh the uh, the you know the fallacy where Again. you're attacking character. I think you just had ad hominem. Ad, ad hominem. <laughs> I don't right, understand right, economy. Boys. We're gonna go. We're gonna. We're going to go off, 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 off tangent here. So <laughs> we need bad, to go around the table. Ad hominem. We need to go around the table here for a final word. Shut the fuck up. That's racist. All right, let's go around the table here for a final word. And actually, uh, John, final word. Go first. There are plenty of alternatives to cutting down trees. I mean, you can write on papyrus as the ancient Egyptians did. You can even write on <laughs> on stone tablets, like you mentioned, or you can write on hemp, you know, as an alternative uh, or parchment even. But you know, this whole <laughs> you get these, this whole, <laughs> these whole motherfucking uh, loose leaf, these loose leaf uh, papers and these books that you guys are using, these novels, <laughs> Harry Potter dictionary, like. Why do you need to keep updating the dictionary? Why do you need to keep updating the encyclopedia? Nothing is changing that much. Stop printing out these 12 volume uh, encyclopedias and shit like that. And just go on your phone. You're already on your phone. You're already on it right now. Like you're literally on it right now. And so therefore you should be able to just Google whatever you want to know and or find it and read it on your phone. Simple as that. Save the planet. Mm. Wisely said. All right. And Mike, final word. Yeah, I agree with John. Hemp is a very good uh, 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 um, option that we should be using, but because the government outlawed it, because some rich people in the paper industry wanted exactly. to make more money, ruining the planet, Preach. ruining the planet, Preach. we could have done it on marijuana hemp, but it's oh, illegal God. here to make fucking hemp paper because the fucking paper industry. It's a goddamn fucking conspiracy. Paper Indeed. can go fuck itself. I'm going to break up with my girlfriend if she buys another book. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. And Travis, final word. I mean, I feel like they, the, the whole thing with them is they make an argument of we need all these amount of trees, but I feel like with them saying that we're losing the Amazon percentage of Amazon rainforest with the forest fires, I've never had trouble breathing walking down the street. I've been able to breathe just the same since I was 
five years old. Tell that so, to Northern California. So I, I think like I, just the fact that I can breathe the same amount and the fact that we eat burgers and we, we shun people who, who eat dogs. I just think we are, we're able to utilize any resources we can. America is the one true uh, <laughs> place. And yeah, I don't know. I think, yeah, trees, fuck trees. They're not even people. So. Wow. So got, you I, lost. I, you just <laughs> lost that debate. Trees are not people. You heard it here first. <laughs> so I smoke trees looks, for breakfast. <laughs> looks like, looks like I got to give it to you. People do hate trees. Got to give it just because he made fun of Travis in his argument. Got to give it to Mike on this one. <laughs> racist. That's racist. Typical Frank it's, racist. It's, it's very racist. So, yes, yes, let's yes. keep it moving here, boys. So I will say everyone walks around, you know, whether it's down the street, you're going to the store, and you see all these annoying people talking about this, talking about that. And there's always a particular a group associated with that. Two of them, actually. So one's got to go here. Vegans or hipsters? Mike, what do you think? Those fucking crunchy hipsters gotta go. It's, there's a specific breed of white people, and all they do is they go to places that have a lot of culture, and then they replace it with bacon. They just fucking come in, and they open up restaurants, and they put bacon on everything. I fucking went to a hipster restaurant that had pumpkin hummus. Pumpkin hummus. That is fucking blasphemous. Are you fucking serious? They belong right here. That yeah. place is not that far from Dearborn, the mecca of fucking hummus. They ruin culture. Look what the they mecca. fucking did to Bali. They fucked up Bali. I love Bali so much. Bali looks like Santa Monica now because of these motherfuckers. Look, yeah. man. Hipsters still- are ruining the world. They're ruining culture. They're eradicating brown people and they're fucking... God damn it. Fuck it's, still not as bad. it's still not as bad as going to dinner with the vegan. You ever like, they take everybody's order and they get to the vegan and you're just like, oh shit. Yeah, no eggs, no soy, no dairy, no <laughs> milk. no. And it's like, bro, why are you here? Like, what do you eat? Grass? Like, what are you really doing? I, no one has time for all these specificities. Like, you can't even eat ice cream, bro. You can't eat ice cream. Like, you need to go home. Because if they we can, can eat cum, every vegan has swallowed and they went down on it. Yeah, and I don't that's know not what vegan. it is. Bro. That's not vegan, if you ask me. But I mean, but they all do it. Day, hey, hey, you I can't have if, the you, data. if you can't come to the cookout, <laughs> if you can't come to cookout, if you can't go with the bros and be like, hey, can I have a beer or a, hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's get some wings or let's throw to a steak me, that's on the just grill. a cheap date. Every time that's I go just... on a date with a vegan, she ain't eating shit. It's amazing. Exactly. No, the, you no, can kind of just. Granted, ahead, they are. Ahead. Granted, they are both very annoying. But I feel like if, we're, if one has to just go, like I feel like vegans are people that are trying to do right for their body. But if one has to like make like a tree and leave, I think that's got to be the hipster because the hipsters are like they're, they they just want to do what everybody else is not doing. But they end up doing what the whole group of hipsters is doing because the su- supreme. Oh, I'm wearing this brand that's like I'm not. I'm different than you guys. But then you end up being the same as you guys. So all you guys want to do is say. I'm not doing the things you guys are doing, but then you're you're doing the same. I don't know. You're, you're Yo, but they're just trying but to be you healthy. You grow up. You grow up with those kids. You grow up with the kids who thinks he's too cool for school. Like that's normal to you since I did it way before. I did it you way before it was cool. Yeah, yeah. But you grow up with Caucasians, especially in, in today's society. I'm sure it's like when you kids, when you, can when find you those just kids get put in on kindergarten. When you just get put on a new song and you're like you're loving this. You, you come to your friends and you're like. Bro, did you hear that new song that blah blah put out? And he's like, you never heard of that. I heard that song four weeks ago. It's and like it's, it's just a yeah, ego, bullshit, lame ego boost. Man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. It's, it's a like lame a- ego boost. It don't fucking mean shit, man. Hipsters fucking ruined Detroit. If you're from Detroit, you'll know how they fucking ruined Detroit. You could used to go to the Cass Corridor ten years ago and buy weed from a black guy in a fanny pack. Now you go there and you can get fucking Thai food from a trans woman in a fucking shipping <laughs> container. Dude, but nobody goes around like, yo, I'm a hipster, bro. I'm a hipster. But vegans, they wear that shit proud. And they're like, I'm a vegan. And if you eat animals, oh, my God, I can't believe you're wearing fur and Not like say- stupid shit like that. No, no but you can avoid vegans. Vegans, you can avoid. You can't avoid hipsters. They have brick and mortar. Exactly. They but they come have, in and open up places. Been there. The hipsters have been a cornerstone in our society. You could say that they've even started Since, trends. Since what? Six years ago? Hey, bacon's not always bad, man. Don't hate them. Just, I love bacon. Listen, I love bacon. Just because they don't identify. Like fuck, 
Just because they, like, they don't identify themselves as as a hipster doesn't make them not hipsters. They're still a people. You you can still obviously yeah, see but they're them not annoying. From, they're from not as the annoying street. where they're like, oh my god, you got to go versus vegans. They're all they're in really. Your face. It's not annoying. They're all in your face. You can't eat brownies. It's not you annoying. Can't eat Each one of them tacos. dresses like it's the eighteen hundreds. They have suspenders <laughs> and curly mustaches. Come on, bro. That's fucking annoying. You, you can see their veins and their pants. pants. You can see their veins on their pants. You see their, of course, because they're white. You can see their veins. That's the worst. You can see them because their pants are tight as fuck. I feel Look, like man. vegans are trying to help you. They're saying you should eat better for your health. Hipsters are trying to help themselves. They're saying I did this yeah, a long but, time I mean, ago. You can I'm always good. look at, it, you, you can always look at somebody eat. and be like, dude, you're a fucking tool. Like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Versus vegans, they're just like trying to promote this almost cult like religion in your face. Versus hipsters, they're just like, yeah, I'm cool. Like, obviously I'm cool. Versus vegans, they're just throwing it in your face all day, like Look, remember the piggies, remember the fishies. Like, and stop I, I don't going wherever vegans go because I never see vegans, man. I'd be going to places I'm where I'm in California, bro. I'm in, I'm in California, so you know how. Well, it goes. me too. I live in California. Oh, shit. All right. Well, shit. Well, shit. <laughs> well, go, go, on a, go on a date while you're at it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. Let's go on a quinoa salad date. Hey, it's lit. <laughs> Oh, right, 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 supreme, guys. supreme. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna go to Macy's and <laughs> wherever, wherever they get the skinny jeans. <laughs> Macy's. So Travis is not a hipster, apparently. Trader <laughs> Joe's. All right, Trader. Yeah, you're on the table. All right, let's go around the table here for a final word. Uh, this is a close one, boys. This this final word here can make or break the round here. And I'm gonna have Mike start this one off. Okay, vegans are avoidable. Hipsters are not. I travel a lot. I go everywhere around the world. Cambodia, hipsters. Bali, hipsters. Israel, hipsters. Palestine, hipsters. They're fucking ruining. They're not like white people that are activists that come to these places and try to do change. No. They're these people that come over here, buy an ethnic restaurant, and turn it into a fucking donut shop with a fucking dinosaur theme or some shit. Get these motherfuckers out of here. They're ruining the fucking planet. Bye. Wow. I actually find that donut shop. It's it's pretty good. And uh, John, final word. <laughs> Hating on the dinos, man. But I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, the vegans, the they're never gonna stop wanting to be. They're never gonna change. Hipsters are always changing with the new fad. You know what I'm saying? There's something new. Oh, you suck because you don't know about the new Super Nintendo coming out and the new Yeezys that are coming out in 2012. Like. Get the fuck out of here. Vegans are always going to stay the same. They always don't want you to eat that delicious bacon you keep referencing. They don't want you to have your cupcakes because it has butter in it or some bullshit like that. And they want you to eat their dry ass, season, seasonless ass food. And I'm not trying to do that. I, find, I love my food. If you're trying to get me to change what I eat, I really can't help you. I can get over some stupid motherfucker trying to be cool. Like, But keep it pushing, man. I'm not with the vegan shit. Okay. All right. And Travis, final word. If I could press a button and, and it would make me a vegan, I would press that button. Granted, steaks are good as fuck. Burgers are good as fuck. So I'm not going to press that button because I like it. But there's nothing. There's no you button in the world. That, there's no button in the world that I would want to <laughs> press to be able to be look, looking okay in skinny jeans and a Supreme shirt. I feel like vegans are more ego driven. They, I'm good. I've been doing this before you. Vegans are like, this is the way that it should be. And it probably is the way it should be. Like, I don't know. America's fat as fuck. So, I mean, I would I would be vegan if I could be, but steaks wow, are good. America, you just I would never be a hipster. And yeah, yeah, that's it. Wow. This one was a close one here, boys. But I got to say, hipsters got to go by a point giving this one to Travis. Is it, Mike, what? You have some good points. What? So, Bro, Travis didn't one. even say anything. Shut your bitch ass up. Travis weak as hell, bro. That's that Black Panther right weak there. Weak as hell. <laughs> you ain't even all right, see boys. it. We got to keep it moving here, though. So, it's all about, in life, is further education. Getting your education, getting smart, understanding the world, getting that comprehension you can to make a difference, right? So, what do we do to make that happen? So, should Harvard lower their admission standards to make America smarter again? And, Travis, start this one off. No, I feel like there's a lot of stupid people in the world. If if I went to Harvard, I, I graduated Michigan State with like a close to a three point. If I went to Harvard, I would have graduated with like a point zero five. And you got like dangerous minds. The, the white the white lady trying to teach all these little kids. You got a Carmen off South Park. How can I reach these kids? You're not going to be able to intertwine these two 
type of people and yeah, make you them are. learn the same way. Well, if you're at Harvard, you're getting, if you're a professor, you're easily making like a million dollars a year. The semester for a student is six Minimum. figures to go there. You <laughs> mean to tell me you cannot teach a smart kid to become a doctor? Like, what are you really, if you're the best teacher in the world, you should be able to take the dumbest person in the world and make him thrive academically. Like, this is the and, dumbest argument, man. I mean, dumb. seriously, this is really the dumbest argument. Like, have you met a dumb person? Yeah, exactly. Like, really? <laughs> have you sat across from a fucking dumb person that knows that they're a dumb person? No dumb person knows that they're dumb. People who are smart are smart because they know that they're dumb. So, no, we don't need to fucking bring dumb. Dumb people to fucking Harvard. It's just gonna clog up the freaking system. And what no teacher, use is it? no teacher that's smart enough to teach at Harvard is gonna want to work three times as hard to teach a dumber person. They're making he would, just go to public, he would just go to he would just go to public school for that shit. They're making John, six to John. seven figures to teach. You're supposedly the best teacher. If you're the best hooper, you go to the hardest setting and prove you're in the you're the best hooper. You go to the NBA, you hoop against LeBron, you hoop against AD. If you're the best teacher. And you think you're the best teacher? You you teach the hardest students. You shouldn't. You, you shouldn't get it you done. So that you force them to become a tutor instead. I, I think to his point, I, if you haven't met a dumb person, then then you need to look in the mirror because you're that dumb person. I think yeah. I think the argument shouldn't be should we fucking lower the fucking standards in Harvard. I think what we should be talking about is how do we get people who come from places where they can't afford to go to Harvard that are qualified to go to Harvard to go to fucking Harvard. Bro, but picture picture Jamba Juice Jimmy, right? Like he he'll never be nothing but like a smoothie <laughs> My king. My he'll dad. never be nothing but a smoothie king in life, and then all of a sudden. Harvard takes them in, and they turn Smoothie King Jimmy, Jamba Juice Jimmy, into fucking Lawyer Jimmy or, or Jumpman Jimmy, and now he's what the fucking. What the fuck are you talking about? Exactly. Yeah, what the fuck is this it, Jamba Juice Jimmy shit? I'm so fucking confused. I feel like I'm talking it. to an old man right Bro, now. Get the fuck out of here. So, Jimmy's so, gonna make it. Jimmy so can make it. So they don't even have a good him. high school education, you know and then you're just Jamba Juice Jimmy. Yeah. So they don't have a good high school education, but you're gonna jump to give him a. a like uh, the most, the, the they most need it the most. College they need it the most. The smart kids aren't but gonna are not be smart because into, they don't go to Harvard. A smart no, kid at dude. Michigan State isn't gonna not be smart because he went to Michigan State. A dumb so turn the greatest not... professors into tutors for retired people. Make for window, them, for window make liquor. them earn their money. Okay, so what you're telling me is, is that you want to slow down the teaching process so all these smart people that can go to fucking school, learn something in a class, and just move on to the next class. Now we got to stop for fucking Jamba Jimmy because he's too fucking <laughs> stupid to understand what quantitative easing is. You want to add a short bus yeah. program to Harvard is what you're saying. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. I think it's the, dumb, I think it's the dumbest argument but, to say that we need to lower the standards so that more dumb people can come in there. That's but just going to fuck will up be, the entire education there, system. There will be less dumb, dumb people, people in the are, world. No. But there will be less dumb people no. in the world. It will Listen, make the bro. world greater Listen, as a bro. Whole. I need someone to flip burgers. Come on. <laughs> We need someone. That's just how the fucking world works. That guy's going to clog the system. Have him not clog the system. Just go do what you your skill set and your mind can fucking do. Okay, but, fuck out of the but way. If, you go to, if you go to some community college, they're going to teach you one plus one. If you go to Harvard, they're going to teach you one plus one equals two. The same facts. It's not like Harvard knows better facts. They don't it's fucking the know. Facts. They have the same history books. They, they, they have the same history. Like they're going to teach you the same history class. So why no, do I have man. to pay you, I think they teach you seventy stuff. times more, seventy no. grand more? Because no. you're you a Harvard the better, professor. If you're the man, no. then prove to me you're the man. If Here's you're the man, the prove to me you're the man. What basically what you're saying is is you want to make sure that more dumb people can get an education. Okay. No, My I answer, just want them. To, hold on, I just want them to be smarter. Right. My answer is that's what community college is for. No, that's not the answer because nobody really cares about community college. Community well, college is just is just thirteenth and fourteenth grade. So what you're saying is that an education matters more from the name of the school that you get it from, as opposed apparently, to the teacher that taught Apparently, you. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Apparently, I think your argument is dumb, bro. We should. I think your argument is dumb as you. fuck. <laughs> Look, bro. If you if you have a GED, you can't just go to Harvard. Right? Like you're, you're you're making the teachers turn into. Professor, yeah, and, and, and you're, you're slowing down. You're slowing down the the the, 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 the flow of, of of information gathering that the smarter people are, are getting. If you slow down their progress, now it's going to take them longer to actually do things in the world. What was your yeah, GPA yeah. in high school? You were stupid, weren't you? I was a three four <laughs> in high school, but I was like a two five or a two seven. Nah, you were a you three four in your high school. What do you think school? you would be if you went to Harvard? What do you think you would be if you went to Harvard? Probably a nine point oh. 
A solid, <laughs> an even, an even nine point oh. A point oh nine, point oh nine. <laughs> all right, all right, boys. I do need to go on the table here for a final word, and I'm gonna have. Let's see, Travis. Final word. You go first. I just think like if you ever seen the movie Dangerous Minds, you got a white lady trying to teach these inner city black and brown kids, and she's struggling, and she's like, "How do I reach them?" And then South Park parody, "How do I reach these kids?" And it's like that's the time to do it. Like you, you, you let them intertwine in a middle he was school able to or teach high them. school. Shut the fuck up. You let them intertwine in a middle school or a high school, but when it gets to the greatest of the great Harvard, like all you're doing is bringing down all their stats where like these great politicians or whatever like that i went to harvard then it's like oh you went to the school with all these window lickers so it, it doesn't matter so i think if you want to <laughs> imp- implement that implement it in middle school or high school but don't implement it in the in harvard okay wisely said and john final word listen when you think of all the great heroes in america today your your iron man's your bruce wayne's your <laughs> peter parker's they all had to go through some type of adversity to achieve greatness <laughs> You know, and with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> and so therefore, with the great power of being a great Harvard educator, your responsibility is to teach the world. And sometimes the world isn't going to be easy to teach. Sometimes the world's going to be a little slower than you're used to. But that doesn't mean you give up. You fight through, you win that infinity war, and you change the world. One student at a time. Good so all you world, Harvard world, professors out there, self. go find yourself a little slow kid. And bring them to the top. Bring them to the top. Let them thrive academically and achieve scholarly success. You feel and me? It's the least. It's the least they could do, right? Exactly. And Mike, final word. And those professors that John talked to to said reach out to a slow kid and try to turn him into a smart person. Do that to John, please, because he's a fucking moron. He's a fucking moron. He's really trying to make this thing work. It's just not going to work. Are you serious? You're going to want to. He's saying that the greatest minds come from education. Steve Jobs was a high school dropout. All these motherfuckers that make the biggest fucking shit in this world didn't even finish high school, some of these motherfuckers. So fuck school, it's a racket. School is only there to fucking steal your money. If anything, if you're smart enough to get into a school and rich enough to get into a school like Harvard, you should be smart enough to consume the information that's coming to you at lightning fast speed. And we cannot be clogging the system with fucking short bus liquors like John. God damn, this got personal on a whole other level. And John, you should call your mom after this. Like, you need to be like, I, I'm, I'm about to call her right now. I'm about to. Uh, <laughs> I got on speed. I got on speed now. I got on speed now. Yeah. All three of y'all. Fuck all three. I'll just let her when she comes over to give you a call. But uh, so it looks like I gotta give it to. They should not be lowered. Got to give it to Mike on this one. Oh, my God. God. That's racist. That's... I didn't win none. (laughs) Me? Me? So, Mike, you were the winner of tonight's episode here. You got 15 seconds of fame. Shout out. Plug whatever you want. The floor is yours. Uh, all right, dude. Shout out to everyone who's voting third party. That's going to bring Trump presidency. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Biden for being a senile baby fucker and ruining it for all the liberals. Uh, shout out to uh, Ben Shapiro for fucking making all my liberal friends cry for the first time. It was fucking amazing. And shout out to the end of America. Hey, follow me at Mike from Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> it's at Mike from Detroit on all platforms Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Pornhub <laughs> <laughs> Only fans but uh... <laughs> Yeah, Venmo, do it up <laughs> Alright guys quick, quick recap of the episode tonight Looks like if you choose books over audiobooks You do indeed hate trees Between vegans and hipsters Hipsters gotta go And it looks like Harvard should not be lowering Their admission standards Alright guys See you next time. Don't forget to tip your server. What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching Blasphemous Debate. We hope you enjoyed the content, but please, now it's time for you guys to give back to us. Please contribute anything you can by paying your tithes, people. Passing the plate around to everybody. Please contribute anything you can. You can tithe today by liking, following, and subscribing to all BMD content on Facebook, Instagram. You can watch us on YouTube. You can listen to us on Spotify and Apple Music today. And remember, folks, drop a comment below if there's anything you can do.
think of that you want us to debate, and we'll consider it for our next episode, all right? Drop a comment below, and we'll try to get into the next episode. You guys stay real out there. Peace.